Salmon are strange beasts because they have this life cycle that takes them through a large variety of habitats, everything from freshwater to the estuaries to the sea. That means that anything that we do that could be harmful in any of those habitats can potentially have a real knock-on effect on these fish. Managing it with uncertainty, I think uh, a good example is last year, Fraser Sockeye, we had a forecast of about 10 million fish that were going to return to the Fraser River system. Well, what did happen is we had a record return. We had uh, 30 million plus fish return. Did we anticipate that? No. Don't just rely on a forecast. You have in-season tools that go out and collect information. So it's been adaptive uh, to changing circumstances. Well, how well is the ecosystem doing? If uh, wild salmon are doing fine, then probably other things in the ecosystem are doing fine. We know from experiences in other par parts of the world, such as Alaska, that the relative importance of different stocks of fish can change over time. So for example, it, under climate change, which is very much with us and we're seeing all sorts of effects already, there are certain types of stocks which might be better able to withstand these changing conditions than other ones. So the wild salmon policy, you know, is very clear, I think, on uh, laying out a, a strategy for what the what one is going to protect for the salmon. It lays out how you would measure that and it also lays out how you would plan for it. The core of the wild salmon policy is conserving the diversity of salmon at a level that's appropriate that allows their long-term persistence and survival. That's the core element. Everything else is about supporting that and making that happen. We've made uh, good progress in a num number of areas within BC of implementing the policy, but it, I would say um, it's not going as fast as some would like to, s like to see us, um, see it implemented, and for others it's probably going too fast. To kick it into a higher gear, uh, the main issue there is the amount of funding that's available to the Department of Fisheries and Oceans uh, to actually make it happen. We've seen remarkable changes. I mean, changes in the way that the fisheries are managed, you know, obviously the, the sustainability movement. How do we design a fishery so that not only the fish are sustainable, but the fishermen are sustainable too? The most difficult thing about me surviving is having to adapt all the time. You look at every year and you say, what can I do different from last year?